Today we go all go, go gadget. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I love a well-stocked Brookstone and browsing SkyMall.com in all of my spare times. Mm -hmm. I love any store, in fact, where I can get both a drone and a weighted blanket at the same time. Well, please, let me direct your attention to these incredibly niche SkyMall finds. Microwave bowl huggers to put around your soup bowl so you don't burn your hands. So a rag. Yo, it, uh, don't sell it short. The Bigfoot Garden Yeti, a towering life-size Yeti for your yard. That's useful. And tummy liners, sweat-absorbing cotton strips that you shove under your belly folds. Yes, that is a real thing. It, here's the thing, though. I, I just mean, use toilet paper. <laughs> the, these, pro <laughs> these, <laughs> these products sound ridiculous, but they solve real-world problems. Yeah, they do. E even the Yeti, I think. Right, uh, pros. And we want to get in on the action. So today, we're unveiling some possibly game-changing products of our own and we're gonna debate if they actually belong on the market. It's time for brand new inventions you never thought you'd need. We're still working on the jet ski that only blasts music by Creed. Yo, I'd ride on that. Maybe I'd outrun the sound. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the motivation. Go faster than Creed. <laughs> Over on our Twitter and Instagram stories, the Mythical Crew posted a series of matchups of two completely original products designed to solve a certain specific problem that does not yet have a sufficient solution. Mm -hmm. And 7,268 of you exactly voted. Thank you. Yes, on which products you would rather see brought to life, and our job is to guess which one you voted for. All right, after we make our guess, the actual product that the majority of you voted on will be revealed as designed and constructed by our brilliant team yeah. of mythical inventioneers, yes. and then we're gonna get to try the prototype and see if we like it. Mm -hmm. If we get uh, two rounds correct, we're also gonna be named Patent Daddies. Oh, I've always wanted to be a Patent Daddy. <laughs> Okay guys, between these two things, which did the mythical beast decide should actually be brought to life? Mm -hmm. Did they choose? A, the Swiss Army Brush, a one-stop toiletry device with a blow dryer, comb, toothbrush, trimmer, tweezers, shampoo, and conditioner all tucked into one handy vessel. Wow, okay. Or? I'm liking that. B, the Gravity Spoon. A spoon bowl hybrid that keeps your milk and cereal in separate chambers until you press a button controlling the amount of each that gets fed into your spoon. Ooh, so I can wait to combine it from, right before uh, it goes in your mouth. In my, or my trip from the kitchen all the way into the TV room where I'm like, I think my series. I think that's it. I, I, I hope that's. I, it. I think the the, the, the internet gravity is spoon. obsessed with with food items, and so I yeah. think the gravity spoon is the one. All right, let's take a look at what sixty one point eight percent of the mythical beasts believe should be an actual product. Everyone loves cereal. Yeah. But eating it out of a bowl can be so complicated. <laughs> Cereal is great at the kitchen table, but it's impossible to eat at work. Introducing Gravity Spoon. Simply fill one chamber with your favorite cereal and the other chamber with milk, and you're ready for breakfast on the go. The secret ingredient is gravity. The Gravity Spoon fits in most hands, right or left. Amazing. It's compatible with whole milk, skim milk, 2%, 1%, soy milk, almond milk, oat milk, cashew milk. So if your cereal bowl is in need of an upgrade, you can count on Gravity Spoon. Thanks, Gravity Spoon. <laughs> Michaela got a starring role. I didn't know that you were also a masseuse, but I could tell by your technique, you, yeah, the technique that she's, technique. Got, she's got some knowledge. We have the Gravity Spoon here. Paisley, please chime in whenever we do something stupid with your prototype. I mean, it... it it's, it's inconspicuous. In, it's intriguing. <laughs> it looks you know like... What? It's just like... What? Like a nuclear containment Yeah, you wouldn't think you capsule. had some sort of like bio material in there <laughs> or something like... I'm carrying a spleen to the doctor. All right, so... I, I like how you can see the milk and you don't see any cereal, but you don't want people to judge what kind of cereal you're eating. Yep, that's you know, you got some Fruit Loops in there, in there, and you're a 50 year old person. So if I leave the hatch closed, no, it's only going to be milk. I'll help by holding the end. 
Yes, that's, that was just milk and quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, you know what? You're a oh first timer. Milk is freaking, the milk is bad. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Okay, well, you keep demonstrating. <laughs> what? Like, what? you mean spoiled or spoiled. like? Spoiled. Uh, no. It's freaking really? spoiled. It's not spoiled. It's probably just got plain. No, no. Okay. Hey, listen. No, you've already. Taste the milk. No, you, no, no, you've already. It's, I, think I don't it's know if been, there's like glue. Get, yeah, I think it's in. just got some plastic or something. You know, it's got yeah, some I parts in I want you to there. taste it. No, I'll, I'll trust you, man. All right, maybe it'll taste better when we put some. Uh, so you, now you turn this thing and get I, the cereal mixer so, going. So I've, I've opened the hatch so that. So it'll dump some cereal down. Oh yeah, I see. I see that there's cereal. Okay. Oh, can you see that? Uh, Here we I'll, go again. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> and then if I close the hatch, and you now, close it back up. Now you should get cereal and milk on that spoon. Cereal and <laughs> spoiled milk on that spoon. I don't think it's spoiled. I think it's just. Here comes it. Up oh, there it is. This is just a new gravity spoon. No one. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, no one in the video was having this much trouble. Um, well, I mean, you could have put good milk in here. No, you know what I think? The that, invention's great. You know, you the look, milk is you, bad. Are you about to cry? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you made him stuff. cry. I think what is happened was, I think what happened is, I think it's new milk, but I think there's still old milk from the when they when they made the infomercial because I'm assuming we only made one of these, so everyone was using the same one. Well, oh. Chase's VO was going through the milk types and and it got cut off because the next one was spoiled milk. Ah, oh, yes, that's what it is. This is the spoiled milk prototype. So, so I got some. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm glad my friend had one. <laughs> yeah, this is our. This is a bit intimidating. It's impressive that you made this, uh, Paisley and team, but. It'll fit in a pocket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, It'll fit in a really big pocket. It's hard to see a future with this puppy. <laughs> you chose correctly before, but will you do it again? Yes. Which of these next two products did the Mythical Beast vote into existence? Was it A, the Inflate Mate? An inflatable bathing suit designed to keep adults afloat while swimming so you can imbibe or just vibe on those hot summer days. All right. Okay. I like that because you've got fashion plus, yeah. and, and like the wing thingies are a little kidsy. And I like where the, the man's little inflation tube is on his thing. Yeah. Is his left hand bleeding? Or is it B, the Heidi heel? Hiking shoes with a slide out compartment in the heel designed to let you squat, do your business, close the compartment, oh, and God. get back to your hike without leaving any mess behind. <laughs> so you crap in your own shoe? This is yes. This is a horrible idea, but I know it's what you all chose. <laughs> Just open squat, wipe and walk. So, so we think that Mythical Beasts are voting not on what they think is better, but which one they want to see oh, in yeah. this instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Heidi heel. Heidi heel. My favorite part of the Heidi heel is that it says Heidi heel on the heel, so the part of it hiding isn't actually applicable. Not, not doing a great job. Yeah. There's poop in here. Okay, to see on. what 72.4% of the Mythical Beasts voted for, please direct your attention to the Mythical Catwalk where our models are sporting the winning invention. Okay, you did have some taste. Wow, they Chase did it. it. It's, it's floatable Chase and David. Hey, guys. I we, gotta say I'm a little disappointed. We also have... Um, I wanted to see you guys crap in shoes. We have photos of uh, this product in action, if you'll direct your attention. So it oh, actually wow. works. You guys got in our... Oh, that's the creative, creative house. house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that tile pattern anywhere. Now, th so these are not nipples. These are in... Inflation. Yeah, these are inflation points. Yep. Points. Why is David so much more inflated than you? It's freshly inflated by Matt, uh, by Mike Paisley. Yeah, it's gonna show you you can use them in either. You know, you don't have to have them inflated. Did you have Slash, them? Did you have them on when he was inflating them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think yeah. this needs to be inflated. Uh, Rhett, you can take that one. David, you can probably take that. Why? Well, hey, why don't you, you volunteer? Do Come on. <laughs> Is this, is this what to, you were hoping for? Do I have to bite? Do you want us to bite? I don't want you to bite. I have very <laughs> It sensitive. feels like I should step in here, but. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, just like the apple. Oh. Cracked open. Man, look, I, I filled it up in one breath. What is that? What is that? This has got a, oh gosh. <laughs> 
You gotta snap that? It, yeah, if you... It's kind of one size fits all, just depending on how much you inflate nice. it, I guess. That, that, at this I point, mean, at this inflation uh, size, that's... it's not. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? You gotta... Okay. Wow. I think you just popped a hole in the back. Yep, <laughs> it's definitely deflating, but you know what? You, uh, you. No, thank you. Chase, you, <laughs> Chase, actually, you do that one yourself, and if you can, I'm going to be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off camera. Go over yeah. there and see if you can inflate uh, your... Uh, I'll be very envious. <laughs> Quick reminder, we want to invite you to check out our series over on the Mythical Society, Let's Dream About That. Oh, yeah. It's an audio experience where we guide you into a meditative, surreal dream state, and you can bet we're going to have some weird dreams together. Mm -hmm. So uh, check that out. Latest episode just dropped. Join second to third degree of the Mythical Society to dream with us. MythicalSociety.com for deets. Okay, so I know that my son Shepard is involved in this round, but I have no idea why. I saw him earlier when you when you drove up, and I'm like, "Crap, is he here yeah. to kick me in the balls again?" Well, uh, hopefully, hopefully that's part hopefully of it. Hopefully not. Stevie, enlighten us. Shep is going to be modeling the winning product from this round, and luckily there are no inflatable nipples involved. Great. Which product did the mythical beast choose? Was it A, the kitty cleaner? a mini electric powered vehicle built to pick up trash, loose toys, and anything else lying around. The kitty cleaner is a fun way for kids yes. to help clean up the yard or pick up after their own birthday parties. This is how, more like know, a tornado, it looks like. Shep is on Barbara poop duty. Oh, and yeah. He doesn't, he's not always on top of it. He would be right on top of it with this thing. Right, so look at, maybe that could work. Look at that twisted kid driving that thing in the rendering. Yeah, having That's, a good time. What's our other option? Or did they choose the You Grew shoe? Lever activated shoes for kids that boost you up when you need to grab something you can't reach on your own. With each kick of the foot, the lever clicks you one step higher. Now, what? Oh, so uh, that would be very, very stilt, cool. Stilt feet. Can you crap into these? Yeah. You, well, you can crap while you're on, you're in them. And there's just even more splatter <laughs> just because there's some more gravity. Even Get more. Activated. <laughs> what? Yeah, you because know, you're higher. I get, but the, the the there's splatter and uh, it's fine. Okay. I love how oh, you're saying if there's splatter already. Yeah. Let, let's I talk mean, about something it depends else. Depends on what you've eaten. Here's something else to talk about. The kid is having to reach for stacks of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna vote. That's for what this. I get Shepard to do at my house. I, I think. Go is, get me. Go get me some money, Shepard. <laughs> some fat stacks. I'm voting for the. You I hope. I hope that it's the Ugru shoe. But we got we got to be right about this though. We can't be patent be, daddies if we're not right. That's our answer. Okay, with 57.1% of the votes, our winning product is the kitty cleaner. Oh, oh dang. That's they had, so cool, They though. totally got us because he was standing up there. All right, we got to go over there and see this thing. Got some uh, after-party trash Whoa. And toys. Chef, how you doing, man? That good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, you know what? We've talked about how he's not allowed to talk to you anymore. Well, you might want to watch out. Oh, have you t have you tried this thing, or is this your first? I tried a little bit. Okay, all right. We'll move if we got to, but... Show me what you got, Shep. Besides a lot of hair. Oh! <laughs> there it is. Nice! Yeah, it's, it's working. <laughs> now, go in reverse here. Can you look as maniacal as the <laughs> as the child in the in the in the diagram? <laughs> All right, yeah, you gotta you gotta get this other. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, he's picking up a lot of stuff. I gotta give him that. And also, it's camouflage, so he could do it without anybody noticing. <laughs> He'll just be out there in the yard, and you'd be like, "What's happening? Why is all the, why are all the Legos that we left in the front yard just being eaten up into that little bag?" You think I can ride on it? No? <laughs> we, we, we just received an emphatic no. Not, I mean, not even right here? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, chef! Go! 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 This is a two-man job! Oh, look at that. Look at Woo! It. Okay, right. well, so do we get to take this home? This is the McLaughlin's now? <laughs> I mean, you lost the game, but we can talk about it. Okay, all right. Uh, so we're not patent daddies, and you're not gonna kick me in the balls. That's why I'm sitting like this. I mean, maybe. Later? <laughs> yeah, and good mythical more. Shepard kicks. Well, hey, hey, bro! <laughs> all 
All right, we're not the patent daddies, but this is absolutely amazing. Good job, mythical inventioneers. Yes. Basically, that was awesome, man. Thanks, guys, and thank you, Shepard, and thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hey, guys, I'm Ronan. I live in Chicago, and I'm about to cut my hair using these scissors and this mythical comb. And now, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I think there was an edit in there. <laughs> nice comb, though. Yeah, that comb works great on some fresh hair. Click yeah. the top link to watch us discover crazy products that were actually patented Ooh. in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Begin by lying down in a comfortable position of slumber. Close your eyes and take three deep breaths. <laughs> 